Hey everybody, welcome back to FSI DFS. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, Monday main slate, it's looking like maybe a little bit of weather that we do have to be paying attention to. I haven't looked too far into it yet. We're just going to break down the slate. We got Strider on the slate. We got a cheaper-ish Peralta and a smash spot at home. Uh, but taking those two, it's going to cost you nearly 20000 of your salary. So we are going to figure out and talk about how we can do that. Because uh, there are there are some value bats on the slate that I do really like. So uh, let's just dive right in. Bringing all the top pitchers. So Strider's number one, 12.8K. I mean, y yes, the, the salary is absolutely absurd on Strider right now. But... Four of the past five games, double digit strikeouts, almost in five straight games. Pittsburgh, not an offense that you should be terrified about. Um, there are strikeouts in that lineup. At 12.8K, like I said, you want to hit like 2.5X like their salary. So just to put in simple terms, if they're 10,000 salary, you're hoping that they can get like 25 DK points. Um, can they get that? So at Strider, at 12.8K, we're looking for like a 30-point effort. Can he get there? Yes, for sure. Um, is it going to be like routine? It's going to be difficult, certainly, to get there. But what Strider provides that like a lot of the art pitchers, you know, throughout the course of the season have not is just a floor. Like this guy is a monster at just hitting 25 DK points after 25 DK points. Um, so Strider, I still think that he's going to be the number one pitcher. Uh, but at salary price point, it's going to be tough, especially if you want to get the Atlanta bats in there. It's going to be near impossible um, to really jam him in. Gear Cole uh, against the White Sox, 11.3K. I think if you're just going to be paying this much, uh, I know he's 1500 cheaper than Strider, but if you're going to be paying this much, find the stuff uh, to get up to Strider. He's solid play. Like, he is another monster of just, like, floor game um, and everything. You can see what he's on a great run right here. Uh, the strikeouts are there. He just has his little blips more so than Strider does, hence the uh, reduced price tag compared to Strider. But still, great matchup going up against the White Sox. If you want to jam him in there, totally understandable with that. Uh, just, I think he's more of, a, like, a pivot play uh, than anything. Senga against the Cubs. Senga is G's GPP gpp only like he's kind of been like this all season long like you don't know what you're going to be getting you're, he's got games in here with 30 plus dk points almost 40 dk points uh but then he's also got games in the single digits and low teens like his command is really one of the big things that's been like his his it's been plaguing him uh throughout the season you know with his control you know his uh pitch count goes up when he has to get deep into the counts and everything so Senga, not really too interested uh, in him in that regard. Webb, I really don't have any interest uh, in Webb. He's in a fine spot. Like, he's in a fine spot. But he's a big ground ball pitcher. Um, I just don't think that there's a whole lot to like with him, especially when you got Freddy Peralta right below him. So, Strider... Peralta, I think these are like one, two. I think Peralta is actually number one uh, when we get to the sheet here, but it leaves 3.4K remaining for the rest of your bats. That is going to be extremely difficult uh, to jam in any of these top tier stacks like Atlanta, uh, Texas, Boston, uh, Milwaukee. So it's going to be difficult, but I think there's enough value on the slate that, you know, we can, we can make it work. We can make it work. It's not great, but we can make it work uh, if you really want to. So Going to the sheet here, I mean, this is kind of where I rank the high uh, tier guys. So I do have Peralta as number one just because he is $3,000 cheaper uh, than Strider. And I think he has just as much upside in this matchup against Colorado, who is just atrocious against right-handed pitching. Strider number two, Cole right behind. I love his floor. Um, and then Senga's just kind of a risky, risky play. Uh, Webb, again, I just don't have any interest. He's just got such a limited upside. He doesn't have the upside as Senga. He might have a better floor. Um, but yeah, just kind of no interest in that regard. Going into the mid tier, uh, Dylan sees, I have him number one up here just for his upside. Uh, he is big boom bust pitcher. We we've talked about this with these all season long, um, facing off against the Yankees. Uh, so it's, you know, it's an average matchup. Uh, but I really like the upside that sees can provide, which is why I do have him ranked you know, number one in this cheaper tier. Uh, but his floor is very, very minimal. You can see he's gotten blown up really in the past two games. Um, negative, negative 14. Oh, that's so bad. Um, yeah, so he's gotten blown up pretty much in the past two games. Even against St. Louis didn't do too well. But he has these other games where he's, you know, into the mid to low 20s. Like, you don't know what you're going to be getting from Dylan C's here. Um, so, yeah, so more of an upside play than anything. I do think that Dunning is going to see a lot of ownership. I mean, just... 
because he's a cheap pitcher going up against Oakland. Dunning really doesn't strike many guys out, though. Um, he did have that one game, I will say, uh, where he, yep, it was last time out. I think it was like two starts or three starts ago. Uh, but yeah, 40 DK points, um, 11 strikeouts. That's not who this guy is. You can see, you know, as we go throughout the course of the season, he's more of like a three, four, five strikeout kind of guy. But then he has these little blips of 10 and 11 strikeouts just out of nowhere. He's facing off against Oakland, a weaker offense for sure. Uh, there are strikeouts in the lineup, but they are a scrappy bunch for sure, uh, especially as of late. So, I mean, they just put up eight against uh, the Giants. So, I think that Dunning's going to be pretty popular. Um, but if you want to go off of like uh, the chalk value, I think jamming in these top two guys is going to be, you know, maybe a little bit more different. Uh, just because with this, you're really not getting a, a whole lot in terms of the bats. Um, and yeah, so uh, let's see, it's kind of all over the place. But here, yeah, C's upside, Dunning, I think is going to be the most popular. Bello, don't mind him in that matchup uh, against KC. And then Sandoval, I think he's okay. He, he's fine. He, he's shown capabilities. Um, and he's got the Giants, uh, but that's pretty much it. This low tier, I really honestly don't have much interest in the low tier at all. Uh, Smiley, Ryu, Reagans. Reagans, not so much. I actually really like the Boston Bats here today. Uh, Ryu, second start after Tommy John surgery. The first start did not go well at all, so I, I'm really hesitant to play him uh, until he can prove that you know he's still this not the same pitcher, but at least has the capabilities of prior to Tommy John. And then Smiley, it's just kind of like a, a hope and pray that you know he doesn't get blown up um, and he can get you into the, the teens in terms of uh, fantasy points. So that's pretty much it uh, in terms of the pitchers looking towards the bats. Texas, Boston, Milwaukee. I really, you really could like interchange all these uh, teams, in my opinion. I couldn't really decide which one I wanted up at the top. Uh, but Texas just had kind of has the track record throughout the season of just being, you know, that offense outside of Atlanta. Like Atlanta is absurd. Um, it, you, we should all know that Atlanta, Atlanta is a top stack any any night. Uh, but Texas, big news here uh, is Josh Chung. Um, he fractured his thumb. Are you going to say down here? It is. Yeah, it fractured his thumb uh, on Sunday, so he's probably going to be out for quite a bit. Heim's on the IL. Seeger is back. Uh, but one uh, important bet to be talking about here is uh, Duran. He's probably going to be hitting in the three or four spot um, for Texas here. 3.7K. He's, he's just going to be in a smash spot. A nice lefty-righty matchup. Great hitter. I think he's going to be one of the value plays that we could be targeting. Uh, but really, any of the other Texas bats, again, I don't really care too much about you know lefty-righty, especially against the Oakland pitchers, too much. Um, just because they don't go super deep into the games. And then you get that Oakland bullpen, uh, and it is what it is. But really, anybody on Texas is going to have, I'm going to have some interest in here. So Texas, number one or two or three. Again, you can really, you know, Flip a lot of these bats around. Boston, I think Boston's going to have a really, um, excuse me, nice matchup here against Reagans. Reagans did do well in his last start. I, I fully admit that. Uh, but I just don't think he's going to be able to string two together here. Ref Snyder should be leading off for a Boston in uh, number one spot. 2.7K. He's going to be a nice, another little value uh, that we could be uh, targeting here. Now, Boston does have a lot of lefties, and it is kind of one thing that did shine me a little bit away uh, from putting them in that top uh, stack spot. But uh, guys like Duvall I, and Turner, like they're, they're going to be, it's really Duvall, Turner, and Ref Snyder. Those would probably be like the first three guys uh, that I would be putting in if you were going to be going with a Boston stack uh, moving forward here. On the Milwaukee side of things, um, Yelich, I, I think he's in a great, great position here against Lambert. Um, he is 5.6K, so it's going to be quite difficult jamming him in there. You can see what it kind of does to your average salary remaining. So maybe, you know, if you do want to get those top guys, you drop down from Strider and go to Cole. Or maybe you uh, drop down from Peralta and go to Dunning. I, I don't suggest dropping from Peralta to Dunning. Uh, I'd be much more understanding if you drop from Strider to Cole. Uh, I think that the gap between them is not nearly as large as the gap between Peralta and Dunning, even though the salary, I don't think it's too much of a difference. Let's see. So it's probably like 1500 for Strider and then Peralta to Dunning. Uh, I think it's a little more than a thousand difference uh, between those two, uh, two options, but still, I think I'd rather go Strider to, um, 
to Cole rather than Peralta down to Dunning or to Cease. Uh, but yeah, uh, one other guy, one cheap play that you could go with um, in terms of Milwaukee is a guy who has more uh, like stolen base upside. He did hit a home run recently, though, uh, but more stolen base upside is with Turing. He's betting down in the order, though. That's like the main hesitation with him is he's down kind of at like uh, like the 7, 8, and 9 spot. Uh, but still, if he gets on base and, you know, he's going to try to be stealing bases. And if he gets there, I mean, he's already paid off his salary just without doing anything else. So you, like a walk in a stolen base, boom, paid off his price tag. Uh, Milwaukee should score quite a few runs. I'm expecting 5, 6, or even more runs from them uh, here tonight. So he's going to see at least four, you know, at-bats in this game. Um, let's see, who is, who is the other, uh, cheap guy that I want to talk about? Oh, Yankees, here we go, Dylan Seas. Yankees is going to be a nice GPP play, um, and the, they do have one other cheap guy that I do want to get to, where is he? There you go, uh, Jake Bowers, 2.6K, um, I think he could possibly be, uh, batting leadoff here as well, nice lefty-righty matchup, and he's been hitting the ball, uh, pretty nice the past, uh, couple of games here, so, obviously, you know, baseball is... It's so hit and miss, pun intended, uh, every single day. Uh, it really depends on the pitching matchups and everything. But when guys are seeing the ball well, it really does matter. Like, guys do go, batters do go through hot streaks uh, and everything. Bowers is seeing the ball well. He's going to, like I said, he's going to be leading off. And then when C struggles, he struggles mightily. Uh, so Bowers might even get up to, like, five at-bats in this game at 2.6K, very affordable. So you can see, you know, even with these guys, I know they're all on different teams, and that's not really what you want to be doing. Uh, and, like, with baseball, uh, MLB DFS, but maybe, you know, so take out two ring, pair these other guys. You're still looking at close to 4K remaining uh, for the rest of your bats. Even, and that is with like Strider Peralta maxing out as pitcher, at pitcher as much as you can. Uh, so cash, maybe you go that route, but GVP, maybe you go a little bit different. So bump down from Strider and go to Cole instead. Now you're at 4K remaining uh, for the remainder of your bats. I, I think that Peralta... I don't want to take Peralta out. He is my number one. Don't want to take Peralta out. Um, Strider and Cole just have such a great floor um, and everything else. But, but yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of where things are. Toronto, I really like Toronto. Uh, Brandon Belt, uh, he's still way too cheap. There's another uh, guy who's on a, you know, great, uh, in a great spot, on a great team, batting in a nice position in the lineup uh, that you could be going towards. So, really, any of these four teams mix and match uh, wherever you want to go Atlanta GPP obviously um, just because of how insane their salaries are like you're not getting an Atlanta stack with uh, Strider you're not getting an Atlanta stack with Peralta and even like a mid-range uh, pitcher it is insane how expensive they are uh, the Yankees going up against Cease just talked about how when he's bad he's really bad uh, Met Chicago wrapping that up San Francisco against Sandoval Cleveland all those cheap guys I'm really going to be sticking our, pretty much around these top tier teams though uh, with this builds and then maybe you know some cheap value guys maybe from the Yankees and Atlanta so yeah, I mean, that kind of covers everything. You know, really do appreciate uh, all these uh, views that we have been getting. Please subscribe to our channel. We are trying to get to 5,000 um, by the end of the season. So, yeah, good luck in your contests, and we will see you tomorrow.